will keep the phone handy that's the word tonight to mount all of teachers from their union a special meeting with the federal negotiators ongoing right now to stop the strike after its first day that not all of is in the cooper county near litchfield about fifty miles northeast of st louis fox news annie baker is there live with the latest on negotiations and how the strike has already taken a toll and yeah, tom and shirley negotiations are going on right now in this room right back here the two sides been going at it for close to two hours now this is the same small town same small school district that pulled together after a tornado hit here in the spring and now this a teacher strike the first ever less than two weeks before holiday break and final exams with no breakthrough so far here tonight they should be cheering at the high school basketball game but it was among the first casualties of this teacher strike postponed like the junior high science fair no one knows for how long parents and students cheered the teachers as they broke from a specially called meeting to go into closed door negotiations. Students made signs making clear where they stood. One group selling We Love Our Teachers t-shirts with about 100 ordered so far. It's only fair for them to get what they've come to school to work for and got an education for to get paid for it. Uh, you get choked up? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not fair. It's become an emotional impasse in a town ravaged by a tornado a little more than six months ago. With school property suffering more than a half million dollars in damages, that is not impacting these negotiations. The key issues are teacher salaries and retirement benefits, with the board offering modest increases in both far less than what teachers say the board promised when teachers agreed to forego raises in the last contract. But the district's enrollment in state aid have been shrinking, meaning the budget has to shrink too. And we feel that when you make a promise, you need to keep it, and that's what we need to teach the kids. And that's why it's not. It's just a very difficult financial climate in the state of Illinois, and the war in the United States, but really in the state of Illinois, and it's just put us in a bad spot. There are 39 teachers here, about 500 students, students who ranked among the top in the state in recent test scores. New at 10, a senior, and her advice, what she'd like to say to both sides if she could get into that negotiating room back there. Reporting live in Mount Olive, Illinois, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. A plan aimed at bringing a new Boeing...